Hi everybody, welcome back to Hot Seat with Penzola. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today's topic is based on how we as a society raise boys and girls and, 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 and how that translates you know, into the adults that either the girl or the boy becomes. So I've got Hira today who is here to really just talk to us about her experience growing up as a young girl and now being a mom um, and, and those challenges that are linked or challenges that she's rather experiencing that are linked to how we are raised and how we are expected just to conform to certain rules as, you know, because of our gender. Mm -hmm. Kira, hi Penny. How are you? I'm, I'm awesome, thanks. It's so good to, to have you today. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I know you complained earlier that you drove all the <laughs> and a long way to get. Uh, you know, yeah, actually, no, I, no, I had to put that in. Okay, there. right, right. But anyway, welcome anyway. Thank I you really, so really appreciate your time. Um, before we talk about this societal norm and this conformance that is required um, and, and created by the society that we live in, Who's Lira? Shucks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Lira Mteto is an actress, television presenter, uh, voiceover artist, and professional MC. Right. Uh, but most importantly, Lira Mteto, I like to say that I'm a mom. Yeah. Uh, I'm a mom. I'm a mom. I'm a mom. I'm a You look like me. Really? Yeah. What does Monate look like? Hey, Bona. <laughs> Sorry, you are Bona. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to answer, I just thought, you know, Kikenya fell Oh, okay. Anyway, back to Lira. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very passionate uh, about my craft. Mm. I am uh, passionate about anything I put my hands into, mm. essentially. Mm. And, um, yeah, that, yeah, that should That's, sum me up nicely. Yeah. yeah, no, I must say, I do like your voice. I do think that when you said voiceover, it, it makes sense. Okay. And I also love your, your work as, as an actress as well. Okay. Um, but let's start... You know, take me back to how you grew up, you know, um, as, a, as a young girl. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, I, I think later I want to also just tap into your acting because once again, you know, acting is not considered to be a career. You know, you, you somehow have to have a degree first and mm -hmm. then start in the corporate and then, you know, mm -hmm. you, 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 all, yeah, you always have to have a fallback plan. But we'll, we'll unpack that later. But t talk to me about how you grew up and... What were some of the rules that you felt you were boxed in as, as, as a young girl? Sure. <laughs> I think I speak for, for many, 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 many girls when I say, uh, I'm quite familiar with that thing. And for me, it's a, it's a bit of a prick. Mm. Let's, let's unpack that, you know, I mean... Um, it, it's, it's the mwanangwanya. Yeah. So, one machine is allowed to sleep in. Moko Heleng, Mishiman, he's tired. He's tired, okay. Um, so, bo, bo, it also speaks to a lot. Right. Over and beyond that. Right. It, it then communicates to to the girl child that essentially, if if I'm raising you as my girl child in 1993, for yeah. instance, yeah. I'm raising you as my girl child, the there's something that comes to mind. It's almost like our parents were raising us to be domestic workers mm. for the wow. girl. Wow. And, and the boy. Domestic can, workers. Yes. Jeez, that, that, that says yes. a lot, right? Because so, we're, we're, we're ticking off gender roles. Mm. Can you cook? Can you clean? Can you do the laundry? Can you iron it properly? We're mm. ticking off those things. Mm. And if you can't do it, then it means that you're, you're not a worthy woman. Mm. And it also then speaks to the fact that we're working towards um, marriage mm. because we're grooming you to to look after your husband it's a grooming process yeah, yeah. but why can't the husband do these things for himself as yeah well yeah so like one day should i be ill god forbid he, he can, can, run the can run the household yes. yeah so i how yeah. i grew up i think i grew up i had quite a well cushioned upbringing mm. uh, mama papa i have an older brother and that's how I know that we weren't treated equally, we were raised differently. Because your brother didn't have to cook, he didn't have to wash dishes. No, but yeah. ironically, my brother can do all those things. Because, yeah. meaning I am, I am a, I'm a late child. Can I pray the last, that? The last child, the last born. The last born, the last born. So there's oh, a, there's a huge there's gap a huge between gap. you and the brother. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, which okay. is why my brother has gender roles 
covered. Right. right. Because there was no any, there was no one else. There was, was no any boy. There was no girl yeah. child mass. Yeah. You know. You you know. And, and we're going to go back to you you're going up story. But I, I want to touch on this because I actually did an episode and I interviewed someone, and the topic was raising girl children that believing uh, that, that marriage is, is an ultimate goal. Mm. It speaks to what you said earlier to say not only a domestic worker but mm. you've got to be able to look after a, hu a, husband. a husband and so and and you must feel lucky and, and yes. feel privileged privileged that somebody wants to marry you because you can do all these, all things. these things not because of you as a person mm. but because of you you are how domesticated you are mm. wow and it's also Man, who, 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 it's unnerving for me a little bit yeah. because uh, my my bride prize Nobulayaka is simply based on Makutukunape. Papa. I remember that was the thing, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, mm. But um, no, no one cares if I'm kind. No one cares if I'm intelligent. Mm. Um, no one cares if I'm self-sufficient. Mm. Uh, the things that actually matter that drive yeah. us in life to mm. achieve things as a team and as a unit. No one cares about that. You care mm. about domesticated stuff mm. that don't really matter. Mm. In this day and age, I can hire someone to do Yeah. That. No, you can outsource that. Yes. But even that, that is frowned upon, right? That, that I can outsource that. That, that, that you can outsource. Like, I, and I'm, I'm going to make this example. So. If Honali Musebi is at my husband's uh, um, family, and then I bring the the labor, <laughs> and then I say, "Here's my portion." Ole wa pia, ole wa pia. Kini ne, kini ha, savanna or something. Hey. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Like, can I do that today? And the reason I'm asking this is because. How we how how these individuals are raised, mm. they, you know, these are the same adults to today who will then have the same thinking yes. that um, as a wife I need to come home, cook, mm. make sure the kids are fine. I'm sorry, we we actually need to have an honest one about this, right? I'm on I'm on set at six a.m. I then wrap at half past six. I then get home at 7.30 to get home and learn lines mm -hmm. for the next day. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I don't have time to come back and, and go. When you go down, it's like a defrost. It's like a But there is that expectation. Or on Sita Nama before we are going to say thing. Yeah. We, we, so that you find it. Pers personally, it doesn't fit into m my life. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not structured like that. So mm -hmm. maybe, you know, certain things are, are not going to work for me and I'm perfectly comfortable with that. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I think it's also just an understanding. It's, it's, a, it's a conversation we need to have with our partners. It's yeah. Kind of thing that certain things aren't possible. They yeah. aren't even practical. We need to move away from them. Yes. Okay. So fast forward from your growing up to the person that you are today. Mm -hmm. You are mom. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about that. The, the, the role of, 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 of a mom having been raised the way that you were raised and the role of, you know, the, the father in your child's life? Um, I'm, a, I'm a single mother across okay. the board. Okay. It's, it's just me okay. and my son. And your son. Uh, across the board, uh, financially, emotionally. Mm. I, it, it happened that the the serious relationship I was in turned into possible marriage, but it, it didn't work out. Mm, mm. And um, it's a case of absent father. Mm. And it, it also then just speaks to the fact that uh, Ronara said we don't have a choice, we, we stay. Mm. Uh, we are the ones that sit through it. Mm. We, we stay to raise the children through mm. the difficulty. It, it's not like we have an option where we can go and make a yeah, like, or I can't look yes, after the child. There's yeah. a, we, we have a high level of accountability that I think the, the male child lacks. Mm. And it also is then presented on how yes. we were raised. How you were raised. Because you could walk away to, to certain responsibilities. Your Easily. sister's here, your sister can wash dishes. So, Easily. you know, so as an adult, you can have, make the baby but mm. and then walk away. And, mm. and I mean, I mean we, we, we're, we're definitely not targeting this and making it about um, the men themselves, but 
I, I want to share with you, you know, as, as you're saying that you're single mom, it's you and you only and you're there, you don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. There's a show that I watch and this show is about getting the fathers to, to pay maintenance. Mm -hmm. And some of the reactions from, 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 from the guys when they go and ask them to look after the child, it's, it, it, it puzzles me when the guy says, yeah, but why you don't give a rake, so I can't support. So, so, so what does that mean? Is it, is it, does it exempt you from supporting your child because how we rake you, you know, if I were if I were to say that in my position, um, my my child would easily die. But I think because I I care about my child, mm -hmm. I I don't have the right to say it. Yeah. And over and above that, what what kind of a human being am I? What kind of a mother am I? To then turn around and go, it's not like a Spanish. What's going to happen? Or oh, take the child will oh, 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 drop off go, somewhere because they are naked. Like, so but I get home. I'm going to be very honest with you. The, I, I have had moments of frustration where I was like, No, my pink at this guy's house. House. Leave him at the door yeah. with the clothes on his back and, and, that, and that's that. And drive off. And because essentially that, that's what you did to me. I, I, got, I got a child out of nowhere mm. that I needed to learn mm. how to take care mm. of. And, and you've been absent. Yes. So maybe, hey, I did the first three years. Do the next three. Yeah. But I, I won't be like you. I'll, I'll come visit. At least. Yes. And I'll, I'll, on, on birthdays, I'll be there. Yes. I'll buy the clothes. Yes. yes yeah. Yes. So it, 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 has, it has crossed my mind. But these are, these are moments of frustration. And it's also... It's also a personal thing where then I sit down and go, yeah, maybe you need to heal, baby girl. Mm. Maybe you need to talk to mm. a professional because mm. this is not it. Mm. it. It it is, yeah. But how do you see the healing process? Because to me, it's a societal problem mm. that we have, and and obviously, we can only impact where we are. Where we are, but this is a bigger problem as a society where you know, generally men are able to say there's no accountability. I can't do this. Mm. Um, yeah, there's absolutely no accountability. And I think whilst the justice system, and I must say that there's, 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 there's you know, there's um, processes in place from a justice perspective that have been put so that, you know, as a channel for single mothers like yourselves mm. to go and, 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 and force these individuals to take accountability. I don't want that. I don't, I yeah. don't want to, and, and maybe I'm also speaking from a place of privilege. Correct. I'm yeah. independent yeah. and financially mm. sound, right? But I don't want to force you to do what you have to do. Mm. I, I don't function that way. Mm. For me, um, it's, it's not a business transaction. It's mm. not, you, you must attend this meeting. It's, it's, it, it's an emotional thing. Mm. This is a human being, this mm. is a child. Mm. You know, so if instinctively it doesn't click to you, it doesn't hit you that I need to spend time with my mm -hmm. son. Hey, give me, give me a toy at... Or oh, school holidays are coming. Something. There's an event Some, uh, somewhere. Something. Yeah. Something. Look, you're right. You probably are speaking from a, a position of privilege, but there's somebody, there's a single mom out there that doesn't have that option, mm -hmm. but to go the legal and the, you know, through the justice because they either... And, and get to a maintenance court and uh, hear a judge tell you that uh, he says he doesn't work and mm. he can only give you 500. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I've, heard, I've heard those stories quite a bit. Yes. Or he says he doesn't work, he'll give it to you as and when he has. I have, I have experienced men that quit their jobs to avoid paying rent. You've got to be kidding me. I swear it to you. You've got to be kidding me. Yes. So you quit an entire job so that you don't support this child that you made. So it's almost like Kababak. Yeah, uh, that's an illness of our society. But anyway, I want to go back to yourself, Lira, and, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, and, and say, how, in raising the son, you're raising a son. Mm -hmm. And is it, is, is, it, is it, am I right in saying that the assumption is that you are, you, you are looking to change the way in which, he, in which he's raised, so that we build the, the, the the accountability gene, I don't know if I should call it a gene, mm. like, like uh, some form of account, so that your son knows that he can't be exempted from, from things that 
you should be accountable for? I think um, my mom even says to me, he's, he, she says, it's almost like you're even raising him to be a soldier. Mm -hmm. Because it, it, it's almost like in my mind, I'm going, because your father lacks accountability, I'm going to drill it into you so that if it is in your genes, mm -hmm. that by, by the time I'm done with you, that thing doesn't three exist. Days. Uh, you are not, you are not, thing, not, nothing like your father. Yeah. At, at all. Mm. So, um, small things, for instance. It's not small. In, in, in his bedroom, in the morning when he wakes up, he'll come and say, Mama, I open my curtains. This is a three-year-old. Mm. When you think about it, it's actually a painful thing. Mm. Because Cause opening curtains is something that, that, that it's, it, you do it on, on autopilot. Yes. It must be done. It must be done. It's a responsibility. This but this is a three-year-old. Three yeah. So sometimes I feel like I, I'm, I'm actually depriving him of being a child, mm. irrespective of his gender, mm. where I, I allow him to do any and everything because mm. in my mind I'm trying to protect. And you're trying to move him as far away as, as from this individual. Yes. Um, as possible. So, 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 and I mean, and, and that obviously uh, speaks to how you haven't healed. I mean, you mentioned earlier yes. on that you have, you, you, you haven't healed, and therefore, it's, 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 it's probably not done in the, in, at, at the right dosage. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. uh, it, it needs to kind of tone down. Yes. But is that something that you're considering you're doing and, and having that conversation with yourself or with a professional to say, you know, whilst I understand that. I can't change, we can't change the world, it is, it is what it is, but for now, as Lira, I need to be able to deal with the situation and move on. Um, I think mental health is one of the most important things to me, because I come from a family that suffers from it. Wow. Um, so in the past, I have prioritized it. Yeah. Uh, but I remember, I think, a month after giving birth, I went to my family doctor. And it's a normal checkup. For yeah, me. yeah. And I said to her, I was like, um, I think I'm suffering from post postnatal. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. um, and she said, she's a stern uh, baby woman. Mm -hmm. Another gender role. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She's, she's a stern baby woman. She's like, uh -uh. I'll, I'll maybe christen mm -hmm. it when they eat away. Because I'm going to eat more. I'm going to have a few more. I'm going to have a few more. That's what we have. Yes, I'm going to have a few more. I'm going to have a few more. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Wow. wow. So, so then I think how she spoke to me woke me up. Woke you up, yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, so it's not depression, right? Right. Oh, good. But depression is not something that you can just take out by by motivating. It's there. It's it's a chemical imbalance. It must be dealt with, yeah. right? So I think I'm at the point right now where I want to invest in, 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 in my mental health with, with a professional, whether it's uh, twice a week, because mm. I like this thing is not very cheap. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It doesn't cover it. I'm, I'm <laughs> over and above that. I don't have medical aid. <laughs> well, I guess it's because of your career, which I now want to talk about, right? Okay. So as an actress, I, like I said, I love your craft. Um, we're not going to, you know, uh, go deep into you know which show I watch that you are in mm -hmm. but um, I really think you are you are an amazing actress you know so so talk to me about how that started <coughs> and was it was it was it any difficult to say to your parents this is the thing I want to do you know um, or you know where, was it just one of those where the support was immediately there or do you come from a family of creatives uh, I'm, I'm the first of my kind I think my kind is a breed mm -hmm. um, and I always say to people that I think my my mom and my dad were crafted for me. They were made for me. They mm. were they were made to be my parents. Mm. I went to an art school in high school. Nice. In Pretoria. Yes. I studied drama there. I then carried on to the University of Pretoria wow. to do drama. I dropped out because I wasn't intellectually stimulated. <laughs> I went, <laughs> hey. I went I'm to, sure there's more stories there. Yes, yes. <laughs> I went to a film school in yeah. Johannesburg, uh, got my degree, but I went back to UP. Yeah. Because I don't start anything and not finish and it. Not finish it, yeah. And I got my honors there. Nice. Um, so it, it, it's not a thing. It's not a... A side not, hustle. A passing yeah. fact. Yeah, You know, because yeah. Follow. yeah. Um, and I think maybe the proof is in the pudding, maybe it isn't. 
but I think my parents, uh, my parents are a top tier when it comes to the level of support and understanding. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Don't 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 misunderstand me. It hasn't been a smooth. It doesn't go pull up so. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Um, but for them, sticking through even mm. the dips, the dips, yeah. because the dips are real. Yeah. So what are some, what are what are some, <coughs> some of the conversations that you've had with your parents when when they really didn't support you, but like you say, you know, they they became parents, mm. whether they agreed with it or not, they they were there. Mm. And 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 those dips, how did that you know have an impact on the relationship with the parents? Um. I think I was raised in a home that was able to compartmentalize the issues that we have. Okay. So just because the issue here is the fact that you're going into the arts and the arts doesn't have money, have a backup plan, doesn't change the fact that we are functioning family. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm making no, sense. No, you are making perfect sense. Yeah. Um, so hence, I'm, I'm saying that I think my parents were crafted for mm -hmm. me. They were mm -hmm. literally made mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. um, some of the dips are, are, are real. Like, for instance, it can happen that three years goes by and you aren't working. There's no job. They, mm. There's not mm. a damn thing. Um, audition after audition, dollar. Man, you yeah. will go to auditions for a living. Yo, if auditions paid, you'd be rich. Oh, please. <laughs> I'd have my accolade. <laughs> you'd have my aid. <laughs> but <clears throat> I think... Um, and I remember having a conversation with my dad, I think it was post matric. And he's like, are you sure this is what mm, you want to do? Mm. I was like, Papa, cool. I will not starve. I will do voiceovers. Listen to the power of the My man. I will do voiceovers. I will be on TV acting. I will be presenting. I will do MC work on the side. Yes, yes. Yeah. It wasn't a lie. Mm. So I don't know. You are doing that today. All of it. Wow. And I mean, the, 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 where, when did you discover you want to do this? Um, I do, you, I mean, Kruger, Kruger yeah. National Park, 1997. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm on a tour bus with my parents. So, Kruger National, again, 1997. Yo, Nele, 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 Okay, anyway, back, back to the matter ahead. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Um, Kruger National Park, 1997, there's a, a tour guide on the bus, he has a mic, and yeah. he's talking, yeah. chat, chat, chat. Mm. I, the, the next thing I remember, I was in front and I had the mic in my hand and I was singing uh, Mariah Carey and Grace to me. Oh. What is that song? Um, one sweet day. One sweet day. day. <laughs> yes. I was belting that song, and the next thing I remember, people were clapping, and I'm walking down the aisle to go sit down next to my mom, and I sat down like nothing happened. Oh wow! And when when people asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up, I always said Brenda Fassi. Wow. So the thing, the art thing, was always was there. Always I, there. I just made just, it, I, no matter stage. To, no matter stage. I didn't know yeah. how to articulate. How to articulate? Yeah. So, okay, that makes um, sense. It's always it's always been, mm -hmm. I, and mm -hmm. I know as 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 girl children, never can like any Yes, right? yes, and you'd make up stories, right? Yeah, but I'm pretty sure my mom doesn't think I was special or, mm -hmm. or weird or unique mm -hmm. because all girl children. It's a coming of age. We do yeah, it. We do it's it. something yeah. to do. Mm -hmm. But uh, it didn't it didn't speak to the level of creativity at the time no. because you know all of us had Hunomani. And it's weird when, when we were playing as friends or collocationing or in my yard or whatever. Um, I was always the principal. Hmm. Yo! Hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I was always the principal. Wow. I'm just saying. Mm. So, so, so are you finding that you, <coughs> you, um, getting the roles that you want or I mean is there ever a point where you don't agree with the with the lines or with the storyline like kind of I'll, I'll allow to put an input or do you just get that script and you learn your lines and that's that whether um, you agree with the storyline or not we must always remember that the, the coming together of the thing that we see on tv is an amalgamation of a process that's far greater than just you mm. 
uh, someone had to create the concept, storyline it, write it down, put it pen together. Yes, yes. Uh, sometimes you don't agree, but it's not about you. Yeah. This is, this is, about, the, this is about the craft. Mm. This mm. is about get, getting mm. the thing done. Mm. And when you work in a, in a long-running production, there's, there's no time for your feelings. Mm. Uh, sure. That's why you, you get in, you fit in, you finish, you go. Yeah. So there are, there are some things where you're just like, Mm. But and then shoot as written, Mama. This is what the script says. Let's shoot it. Mm. Um, but luckily, being a creative, working in a creative space with creatives and intellects, mm. you can sit down with your director and go, I, I don't understand mm. how we can. And if if you speak in the same language with your director, your director goes and um, actually, and we move. Then you move. We move. Yeah. But sometimes, you know, it happens that you're not. Mm. It's not, it's not the best decision that was made on paper, but... Yeah, yeah. Look, I mean, I think the other thing I want to, I want to, I want to bring in is the, the stories that we hear about this industry. And it's funny because I, I've interviewed quite a few musicians lately mm -hmm. and we talk about the brutality of the entertainment industry as a whole. Yeah. And, you know, and, and how, as a woman, you know, that you are seen... Um, I, I don't know how to put this. There are other ways that you can influence your 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 your, your growth and your stardom. <laughs> um, you know, because you're female, you know there there are other expectations. You say, well, you know, a lot of people want this role, but uh, you know, but here you are. But 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 here you are. We could work <coughs> something out, and you know, um, and, and 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 this is what you know. The, the the people industry say about other females that are succeeding that are always in every story mm. you know that are always that, that are getting jobs just like that and there's no dry season for them you know mm. so and and, and there's, there, there, there's there's a notion of not wanting to believe that these these, these particular actresses are good mm. and that's how they get the jobs all the time mm. what are your thoughts on that i mean you you you've studied the you, you've studied in the you know for the industry you are in the industry you do multiple things in the industry. Mm -hmm. what, uh, how brutal is that and how true is, 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 is all these things that people are saying? I, um, because once again, it's based on gender, right? I'm currently yeah. a, in a very amazing position where I can only speak for myself. True. Um, so I'll tell you what some of the struggles are when you have studied the craft and you are part and parcel of the industry. There's a, there's a thing where you suffer from depression when but I was at an school and she didn't tell you day in, day out. Born. Right? But that's you killing yourself because what the industry is is a business. And if you look at it like that, like any other corporate, right? Whether they have a degree or not to get the job. It's a business. It's a business. So as soon as you get over, yeah, I, I studied, hey, I'm mm -hmm. a, I'm a, as soon as well, you get Well, I should be getting the job. It doesn't, it doesn't work. Yeah. We, we tend to suffer from entitlement. That just, just because I have a piece of paper, I am deserving. No. Mm -hmm. And perhaps someone doesn't have talent, but they understand the game. Mm -hmm. And. I like that. They understand the game. They understand. Mm -hmm. Simple. They're smart. They're strategic. Yes. And this business is about relationships. It's not about but any other business. It's though, not right? about money. It's not about popularity. It's about relationships. Mm. So, if when I everywhere you go, the relationships are holy shit. Mm. Or better yet, maybe you don't even have, have relationships. relationships. So maybe you know mm. you need to work on your game versus. Mm. It's interesting you say that because I actually, I again another artist that I interviewed, you know, said he actually believed that he wasn't one of the greatest hip hop artists, but. The reason is consistently getting jobs is because of of how how every how everybody enjoys working with him. He's not a prima donna, you know. When he's booked, he's humble, you know. As a result, then he becomes the obvious choice. I I always say to people, "Can I? I'm a pleasure to work with." Mm. Um, I I try not to be late ever. <laughs> wow. I can't say the same for this interview, guys. She was 15 minutes late, but it's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm sure she's still getting her makeup on. She's getting, she, she looks amazing, as you can see. So we'll, we'll give we'll give that to to your looks. The 15 minutes late. 
back to your interview. Kenny. <laughs> yes. um, it's easier when you are a pleasure. Yeah. Uh, it's easier when you are efficient. Mm. Uh, I would never walk up to set unprepared. Mm. Um, and I, I bring my AK constantly. Yeah. But most importantly, I'm kind to people. Mm. Whether whether it's the cleaner or the mm. the producer, mm. I am I'm consistent. Mm. Okay, okay, one guy. So I mean, I, I, I can confirm that you are kind because for somebody who runs a hot seat with Penzola, who's, which is not really a popular show, um, you know, getting a call from Penny saying, you know, I want to talk to you about this particular subject, it's a societal norm subject, nothing about your acting, nothing, you know, nothing to promote your acting skills. You know, the response was quite, dude, we can talk all day. I'm there, you know? And I think for me, that, that was really clever. Uh, and, and, and it just confirms what you just said about yourself because I didn't have to go through, uh, yeah. So, I mean, so, so Lira, let's talk about, I mean, we've, we've spoken about how you were raised as a girl and how it, it, it was different you know, it's between you and your brother mm. and how your brother got away with many things. Mm. Um, so even in, the, even in that environment, you know, what sort of inspired you to go for the stuff that you want to go for despite being told you must be domesticated and you know, that's, you, 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 you must be good at particular things that have been laid out. Mm. So what inspired you to go for, for what you wanted and how would you then today as you sit here inspire the, uh, the girl child, even a boy child, you know, that's watching, to say being a boy doesn't exempt you to, you know, you're not exempted from other responsibilities. Sure. Okay. Um, firstly, gender aside, yeah. um, I think life works out easier as a child when you have a dream. But the painful thing about having a dream is that not many people believe it's possible. Mm. And people talk you down. Mm. And it's an amazing thing when you know that I mean, I can I can give you a couple of dreamers, I can give you a dreamer from the Bible, I can give you a dreamer from the world. Yeah. And those pe those people were were laughed at, mm. were mocked. Mm. Uh, people thought they were crazy. And they always think it's impossible until it's done. Mm. So I think with the dream comes the great responsibility of faith yeah. and belief. Yeah. So you need to believe in yourself greater than you believe in the naysayers and what other people are saying. Mm. I think you need to silence everything else and you know work from within. Mm. Believe in yourself. I think first and foremost, it's not away. Yeah. You know, it's in it's in small phrases that, that I believe in myself like ho oh, chi mm. um, <laughs> No one has to tell me. Yeah. I, I'm telling you ho oh, chi yeah, and you even shake your head. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Yes. Oh, what? Hey, what's that? What's that? Yeah, full stop. Simple. So it's a, um, it's a, it's a confidence thing. Yeah. It's a, it's a belief thing. It's a yeah. faith thing. So I think we need to work on ourselves from the inward out. Yeah, yeah. So, so tell me, talk to me about this, Spito. Like, I mean, I watch you, right? I know. No, you, <coughs> you make the pause. Is, is this intentional to kind of? You know, teach others uh, uh, the, the, the the Pretoria language, or you, you know, do you just enjoy? Obviously, you come from pain, right? Mm -hmm. So that is how you speak. But uh, you know, are, are you intentional in your in your in your in your in your role that you're currently playing? I'm going to be very honest with you. I I made an intentional decision that JK Kongwani Ukovela Spitori because I was tired of being an out of work actor. Mm. I needed something to. Hence, understand the business. I needed mm. something to Com solidify my place. The, the competitive edge. Yes. Yeah. To go, there's no one else. No one can do it better. They can try, mm. but you know, um, it then comes into how the character was created. Mm. Uh, they gave me the poshest character in the world, but the things that come out of her mouth, even with a poise, it's a weird thing. Mm, mm, so mm. You, you're attracted to it, but you want to question it, and you're like, but. Is that right? When I live with street wise in the Yeah, also. Yeah. Yeah. Which which one is it, right? So I think, you know, with the with the simplest with the simplest but most intricate ways, yeah. I, I tried to make her as three dimensional as yeah. possible. Yeah. Uh, and I chose the, the language as Pitura because I don't think it has been Yeah, it's it's not out there. <coughs> yeah. We all know about it on obviously yeah. social media, but it's not it hasn't been given mm. a position. Yes. And hence I was asking you, know, what is the 
was that intentional? It was. It was very intentional. Yeah. I needed. I needed to. You needed something. I needed to solidify. Spice. I needed to solidify. Mm -hmm. That's all. Mm -hmm. So that even if I walk into a room, you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. And then I. I went with. I conceptualized the thing where my cat is a teacher, but there's people don't understand the language. So let me teach them on social media. Mm -hmm. So I yeah, I saw those videos where, where, where you guys are like literally like those short videos where yes. you're telling people this is this is what the word yeah, means. This is what the word means. Yeah. So a day at a time. Yeah. yeah. Get that into the world. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you for much. coming. Thank you. Like I love this conversation, and I think, like I said, it's really appreciated. Even though I really wanted us to tackle quite a, a serious sort of uh, topic, um, you know, I do think that it's it's a topic that needed attention. Um, but I also found that, you know, the, the, there is there is a revolution, or there is there, there is growth. And Th it things will are being televised. Yes, <laughs> things are moving in the right direction and I think we're certainly not raising our grown children today mm -hmm. you know to be domesticated and say I remember this one thing that my my <coughs> mom used to say to me mom I was okay this is a or you know as if what I'm saying I want so and then that's the thing so because it was it was a it was a, 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 a formula you go to school you get a job you get a husband and then you make children and then you die. Um, and I think we're changing the game as, as, as women. Um, you know, taking away nothing from men. And I do think that, you know, as we evolve from a, from a, a gender perspective, I think our men need to embrace that, mm. embrace the change and, and just align with where we are. Mm. You know, we, we, we bring the bacon home as well. We, you know, we, we bring the honey too. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so yeah, I think we are more partners than, than a commodity mm -hmm. in, 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 in 2022. Uh, so, so yeah, I think that's it for me. Thank you so much once again, uh, Lira, Jackie, AKA somebody, a uh, voiceover artist. Guys, thank you so much for uh, tuning into that um, an interesting conversation. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, if you do have a question for Lira, who plays the character of J.K. on Gomorrah, please can you just drop a comment? I will definitely get it to answer. You know, even if you wanted to teach you a little bit of, you know, Sipitori, she's more than happy to do it. Um, and yeah, you can catch her on her socials, uh, which are below the screen. Um, yeah, guys, thank you so much. It's been a real thing. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment again. It's been a real thing, and we are out.